So this is something uh, that I just thought of doing. Hopefully you guys like this. And um, I was told this was a, was a cool video where uh, some of our friends know that we're creating this channel and that we, we're, we're wanting to be on the latest and greatest trends with AI. So we wanted to share this video or look at this video and we're going we're gonna to watch it and then uh, talk about it live. Does that sound good with you, Dave? Sounds good. Let's react. Okay. Language models are super exciting because it feels like we're discovering something new every day. For example, we just got access to the GPT-4 API and we set up the new streaming API and a live mode with chat GPT so that users can build websites, apps, games, automations in real time as it streams it down rather than waiting for it to generate it uh, in the servers. Uh, let me go over a quick example because this is better shown. So let's say uh, build a simple landing page. All right. So first of all, is, isn't this cool? Now, we're not necessarily saying you need to get this app or, or we're not endorsing this particular screen, but just this premise of where we are right now, where right. first of all, this guy has or this team or this, this, this uh, website is connecting through the API with GPT. We talked about in another video, uh, Dave, I believe you're going to upload, where there's so much in terms of apps that are going to be coming out with GPT. This is with right. GPT-4. GPT-5 is going to be coming out uh, relatively soon. But right now, this guy is saying in real time, he's going to build a web page just by talking to chat GPT. This is where we're at right now. So let's wow. watch. To start... Now, normally this would go to the chat GPT API, take about a minute to generate and then uh, bring it back down to maybe sometimes even over a minute. Uh, but uh, we have this new iterative live mode that allows you to build the product uh, as it's uh, building in the background as you speak to it like a conversation. So this is kind of simple. So let's say add a pricing section and make it fancier. Okay. Now it's going to build it for me just like a conversation with an engineer and a designer. So he so he's talking talking with with chat BT, chat GPT and look we're seeing the code as <laughs> it's being built for the website as he's doing this in a matter of seconds. That's this is amazing. a 3 minute video. So by the end of 3 minutes here <clears throat> he's going to have a, a website built from him just by communicating with the AI. And instead of taking minutes to generate in the cloud, you can see that it's actually streaming the result back to me now for more complex examples and building it in real time in the background. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. I've never seen anything like this. It's kind of so look at that. It's already wow. buy now buttons. You know, I'm not saying this web page is like the, the greatest thing ever, but just think about that. He's saying make it fancier and, and, and it's already building the web page for him. He's talking to it. The, okay, stop. Think about this. Think about this right now. So... It took me two months of reading books back in 98 to learn how to build my first website. Two months of struggle, and I had no idea what HTML code was. I had no idea anything about the internet, right? It took me two months of just pulling my hair out to build my first website. And now, if somebody has an idea, like we talked about in our first episode, James, somebody just has an idea for a website. They can come to a tool like this and they can build out a website and then they can have a conversation with it to say, no, I don't like that. Can you change it to this? That's incredible. That's like having a web designer right behind you or 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 you telling a web designer what to do right on the spot. But not it's even that, because normally if you're dealing with a web designer, do they even do they even really understand what you're saying? Oh, OK, I'll go work on that. They work on it for three weeks, come back to you. That's not what I wanted. Right. Six months later, you might get there. This guy's going to make it happen with a little six, back and forth in three minutes. Six months and thousands of dollars later. That's right. That's right. Incredible. Kind of magical. Let me try. Let me try adding more. So add a features section. That's kind of fun to watch and play with, actually. <laughs> so now he's adding features. And there's the code being created. There he goes. And if you've used huh. this before, sometimes it would take like minutes or five minutes and you had no idea if it's working, but this is a much better user experience. In fact, it's actually fun just to watch it work. 
and build things. Users have <coughs> built actually apps, games, tools. Uh, we built the countdown timer in our recent promotion using this. Um, someone built a color wheel picker, um, like a LinkedIn uh, automation. You can build your own chat GPT powered products. Actually, in fact, we use it to build this UI interface using GPT-4 in just a day. Uh, so think about that. Wow. You know, there's so many different products people want that just have chat GPT in the background. That's what he's talking about there. Um, so there's so many different ways and things you could do with that, but having chat GPT molded to, to think about something in a certain way. In other words, when you have chat GPT prompts, it's like, act like you were a real estate agent and talk to me like that. Well, you right. could have a product just like that, where chat GPT is in that frame. And then you could have people that are real estate agents, just talking to it back and forth with different tools, et cetera, with something like this, potentially. Unbelievable. Now that's how we were able to build it so quickly. We built the first version using this implementation and then sent it to a designer to polish. So uh, here's a quick preview of the new streaming API with GPT-4 to build um, landing pages or apps and things like that. Kind of cool. So let's say um, That's a few things there he's asking for. That's quite a few. That's something that would easily cost a few, a few thousand dollars minimum, Waiting a whole minute. if not $10,000. Now stream partially. Exactly. See, so great, it's, it's creating screen. all these things. And, and he even said- building it live in the background. He's even saying himself that when he was using this specific tool not too long ago, how much slower it was that's one thing that's is such a key with with all these different tools that are coming out there is just how quick they they are making changes themselves that they're exponentially better. For example, mid journey right. is one I'd like to mention. Yeah. So let's there's there's 40 seconds left here. Let's let's finish this out. <laughs> he's, he's literally uh, yep. watching this. <laughs> building the whole website live. Man. Oh, cool. Look at that. So instead of waiting a whole minute, you can actually see it instantly respond. It's wow. a much better user experience. And that's actually cool. I've never seen anything like this. Look at that. It's building the whole website live. <laughs> this is fun. And it's done. So now instead of waiting like five minutes and uh, having no idea if it working, it's working or not, it instantly responds. This is a preview of the new streaming API in the next auto update. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So that was pretty cool. Um, let me stop my share here. So again, not necessarily saying that that is a tool you need or want, but the, but the, just the point of it is that what where things are coming, look at where that is right now. Somebody might be watching this video and saying, that's really cool where we're at right now. Where are we going to be in a month, right? That was a pretty basic website and that might do the trick, but in a month, two months, whatever that magic number is, mm -hmm. all of a sudden you're going to have this beautiful web. Someone's going to make it that you're yep. going to have this beautiful website that someone would have normally paid thousands of dollars for, to create a website. And it's like, you could do that in a matter of seconds. That's coming. That's incredible. It, it's incredible already because you could use, just like we use ChatGPT to use the foundational stuff for what we want to do. You know, maybe we want to write a blog post, right? So we use ChatGPT to create a blog post, and then we make it ours by adding information and, and, and whatnot. That's the, the base layer, right? Well, this thing is creating the base layer for your website exactly the way you want it at, at the base level. And then with a little bit of skill or even sending it to a web designer, have it be just a, the way you want it, right? But like you're to the point that you're saying, uh, within a month or two, you'll be able to just say, okay, now add these colors, add this graphic, put this here, move this over there. And so it'll be just like that Iron Man thing where he's moving things around and that kind of thing. Sure. Uh, it's incredible. And here's the, the the point, like, let's zoom up a little bit. Let's zoom up 10,000 10, feet and go, now somebody in the middle of nowhere, let's say, uh, who could not necessarily afford a web designer to, to make their dream come to fruition, can use a tool like that, and there's going to be many tools like this, to create a business, to create a website, to sell their 
mid-journey images or to sell their blog posts or to sell the things that they create with AI. So not only will they be creating things with AI to sell, but they'll be able to create the website with AI as well. And it's just amazing where, where we're heading. I mean, this is this is unbelievable. I'll, I'll tell you what, I have had an idea for a software for about five years. I've never done it. And why haven't I not done it? I just haven't found the, the right software developer, never really had the impetus to go that far because I figured software developer is going to cost a lot of money. Do I know if it's going to work? Do I want to make the investment? Now, with something like this tool, because it doesn't just build websites, right? It does code. It creates software. It creates those things. I could go in and tell it exactly what I want and have a prototype version done. And then I could say, okay, now add this and make this and have a conversation with it. And I can go in there and create that software now. And by the way, that software can sell for, I don't know, 100 bucks, 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, if I add some, some course content with it. And now we've got a product that was created without me spending thousands or tens of thousands of dollars to a software developer, right? And who knows how much time, too, it would take, six months. The friction has been removed. So now something that's been in my mind for five months, I can go do like that and put it out there and the momentum will be more toward let's go make this happen and sell it versus the momentum before was i got this friction point i got this friction point i can't do it because of this therefore i don't ever take action on it just imagine the speed of thought the speed of ideas being implemented that's one big revolution of ai i think is now like you said earlier you can have an idea and then make it happen so much faster and so the uh, the development of things is going to go so much faster. The iteration is going to go so much faster. And the ability for people to make money is going to go so much faster. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the big things is going to be like customization. So when you have a layer, be it chat GPT or something else behind the scenes, that it's like, maybe I want to have, I, I want to see when I log into my computer, I want it to be giving me the scores of my local high school sports. I want the weather from this country. I want to get an RSS feed of information from this, like whatever it is that I'm into, the 30 things that I'm into, I want to have a tool or a process, give me everything that I want. And, and every single person is different. And right. see, we, you're always trying to put people in, in buckets. Somebody is this age, they're this religion, they're this gender, they're this, 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 and that. But we all, we, we have commonalities, of course, but but a lot, but none of us are the same. You know, you and I are, are into the AI, but you have your own interests. Like you mentioned your cars and I have my own interests. I like hockey, et cetera. We're different. But imagine if we had something that was given to you through your prompts. That, this is a business idea I'm coming up with as we're talking here. Yeah. And and I and that's what's so great about this channel is talking about these things that I could say, okay, I want to create a tool and this tool ask for prompts from the person. What do you like, Dave? How old are you? What would you like to see? What if you could have it? Would you want it? Blah, 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 blah. The person tells the AI, tells my software that I created in seconds, here's what I would want. And then the AI gives it to that person. And you think that if I could give somebody what they wanted, at least in terms of an informational or digital level, would they pay? Would some people pay for that for monthly? Sure, absolutely. And yep. who knows what that price is? But see, I'm not. I don't necessarily need to know you, Dave, and, and all your specifics. You're you're one of a hundred thousand people that might come in, in contact with that. But you're talking through my intermediate program that I make with a tool like this, or many others that are going to come out in the near future. It talks to the AI. That was my idea. My idea is let's interact with the person to spew out something that they want. Maybe that's a newsletter. Maybe that's a newsletter that comes to them, just like we have <laughs> our AI newsletter. It's right. a newsletter that comes out to each specific person. And that newsletter is only related to the 20 things that are specific to that person, right? That'd be amazing. That's the kind huh? of stuff. See, that, that, that's a great idea. And so that's a million dollar idea. And um, that's the kind of things you can do with AI. And that's what's so beautiful about it is that's my idea. But that's one of a million amazing ideas that can happen. 
and that and that can and and would I if without AI would I have ever even considered making something like that? But no, it wouldn't be possible. It wouldn't be possible. Exactly. No. So it just opens up your mind to your point earlier, Dave, where you were saying, well, you know, or in one of our earlier videos that you know, well, people are nervous, their jobs are going to go this, this, and that. Well, I'm not worried so much about the jobs that are leaving. I'm excited about the opportunity that's coming. And when you bring that lens and when you're looking at, yeah, this world's going away. You you can still stick in that old world and, 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 and be mad that things are changing. Or you can be inspired by this brand new world, go down that path and have, have an amazing opportunity for success. Yeah, that's incredible. Well, I, I appreciate you sharing this uh, tool with us, James. And you know, just the, I think it was kind of a good idea to do a reaction video because that was mind blowing. And that was just something that by most standards today is a simple thing, a website. There are website builders out there. I mean, you could go to Wix. I don't recommend it, but you go to, you could go to Wix.com and build a rudimentary basic website. And yeah, you have to go in and input everything and all that kind of thing. So the fact that he built a website is not the big deal. The fact that he told AI the few things he wanted it in, and it built the code for you, and then you could come back and change it up how you want, uh, and you could get exactly what you want, is an amazing example. But what I want to share you know, about this is that's just a website. If you had an idea like you just had for a, a let's call it an iterative personalized newsletter service, I mean, that's totally doable with AI and not with a lot of work either. It would be pre-programming things to bring in content and then distribute it to these individual newsletters. You know, we don't, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves and explain your whole idea, but but it's totally doable. Uh, and so things that are more complex than a website, like software, you ever had an idea for something, a, a piece of software that would make your life easier? Well, chances are it would make hundreds of thousands of other people's lives easier too, right? So, but but, you, but you're like, well, I'm not a developer. I don't even know if it's possible. I don't want to spend the money. I don't know if, you know, it would sell. Well, now, heck, you go and just create it and start seeing if it'll sell. And, you know, the, the reduction of friction is ridiculous. And so that's what uh, amazes me about AI. That's what gets me excited about AI is, how you can now reduce the speed to which you start selling an actual product, creating it easily. AI is kind of like a 3D printer. You just decide what you want and it it does it for you, you know? Yeah, Pretty and in amazing. Terms of like an MVP, like a minimum viable product, you don't have to have, and, and so many people in, in general in business try and think like this, they, they, they want to have everything perfect. Right. That's not the way to look at it. If you come up with an initial idea, just to prove the concept. And you could, again, instead of it taking, being part of like a like a Y Combinator or, or something like this, where you're having to get funding and you can create your idea and see if the market digs it or not. And then the market tells you, you know what, we love this, but here's 30 things we wish it had. Okay, let me take another five <laughs> seconds. Exactly. The AI and say, here, I wish it had these 30 things. And now you just had something that's five times better, just like that. That's where we're going. That's amazing. Yeah, what you just said right there was gold uh, because you take the feedback from your audience and you make it better and make it go from minimum viable product to amazing product because you you took that feedback in real time. You made the change really quick and now you've got, I mean, that's incredible. And the thing is, you know, we'll look back two months from now at this video and say, and, and people say they were excited about that tool <laughs> because two months from now, there's going to be something that makes that look, you know, like child's play. And yep. so that's what's so crazy is that it's just being on top of this moving, this moving tidal wave um, is so exciting. It is. It, it really is. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us here on Making Money with AI. Be sure to hit uh, the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notifications bell. And also, we have a monthly AI newsletter that we'd love for you to check out. And that's going to be in the description box below. So thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time on Making Money with AI.